Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 2 states the following. Two grooves are being milled into a piece of steel. The motion of the cutter is represented by simultaneous equations. 20y equals 30x plus 9 and minus 3y equals 1.5x minus 6. And the question states, find the coordinates where the grooves intersect. Now the point where these two grooves intersect is going to be the point where the x and y coordinates are common. So if we assume that one of these is a straight line that appears something like this and the second is a straight line that appears something like this, the point where those two lines intersect is going to have coordinates x and y and those x and y coordinates are going to be the x and y values that make both of these equations true simultaneously or at the same time. So if we begin with our two equations, I'm going to call the first equation 1 which states that 20y equals 30x plus 9 and I'm going to call the second equation 2 where minus 3y equals 1.5x minus 6. Now we have two options for solving this. We can solve the simultaneous equations by substitution or we can solve the simultaneous equations by elimination. Now if I were to solve these by elimination, then what I would be looking to do would be to make the coefficients of x or y the same as each other in these two equations. And that's the option that I'm going to go for here, because if we look at the x coefficient in equation 2 there, it's 1.5, and the x coefficient in equation 1 is 30. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to times equation 2 by 20. And in doing so, I'm going to create a new equation, which I'm going to call equation 3. So equation 3 then, and I'll put this on the right hand side, equation 3 is going to be 20 times each of those coefficients. So first of all, we have 20 times minus 3. Well, 20 times minus 3 is minus 60. Next, I'm going to have 20 times 1.5, or 20 times 1.5 is 30x, and 20 times minus 6 is minus 120. So that's my equation 3, and underneath it, I'm going to rewrite my equation 1, because my equation 1 is remaining the same. 20y equals 30x plus 9. So I have options here. I can either do equation 1 minus equation 3 because that will get rid of those x components or I can do equation 3 minus equation 1. Now just so that all of my numbers remain positive I'm going to do equation 1 minus equation 3 and that's going to give me a new equation which I'll call equation 4. Well, first of all, if we do the coefficients of y, I've got 20y minus minus 60y. Well, minus a minus is a plus, so that's going to leave me with 80y. Next, I've got 30x minus 30x, which is just 0. And finally, I've got 9 minus minus 120, or 9 plus 120, which is 129. Therefore, my y component is just going to be 129 divided by 80. 129 divided by 80 gives me my y coordinate, which is 1.6125. But I'm not quite finished because I still need to find my x component. And I actually have a choice here. All of the equations that are written, equation 1, 2, 3 and 4, are all valid equations. 
So I can use any of those equations to find my x coordinate. And I'm going to use equation 1. So from equation 1, I know that 20y, 20, and I'm going to input my value for y, 1.6125. So 20y equals 30x plus 9. So if we simplify that, we'll get on the left hand side 32.25 equals 30x plus 9. Next I'm going to minus 9 from each side and minusing 9 from each side will give me 30x equals 23.25. And finally, I need to divide each side of that by 30 to get x on its own. So we get x equals 23.25 over 30, which is 0 